Hi everyone, Emma here. <laughs> Take a look what I have. So I wanted to continue with this lovely theme of these incredible uh, toggle clasps that I got from End Beads. So let's take a look at what I decided to do. So I have these incredible, um, these are, let me get my uh, caliper out. These were um, gifted to me from uh, Kath in the UK. So I've been kind of, every time I come across an idea to do something, I'm like, let me grab these. <laughs> So these are um, 16 millimeters. Wow, that's incredible. They might be, just the way they're faceted, they might be a 15. Yeah, it looks like a 15 there. So anyway, these are massive. And the other thing is I got these on AliExpress and um, I was just... I love acorns. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think it's this pattern on the little, the top that looks like a little chapeau, a little hat. So, um, so I got these and when I thought of these, how decadent they are, these came to mind right away. So I wanted to do something with them. I was kind of surprised at how big these guys are. <laughs> Um, even though I knew they were that big, but when you get them in your hand, you're like, okay, actually I still thought, great, no problem, I'll use them. But then I started testing my pearls and my 10 millimeter pearls were like dwarfed by the cap. So that's why the 15 or 16 works perfectly. So I had an idea and I thought what I'd do is glue this onto here and then add these little, um, these are, I think they call them end caps or something like that. So they're meant to finish off a hole into a kind of area that you can put another loop through that. So I thought we'd do that, and that does not look like it's in focus, but we'll get get that going. So let me put the other <laughs> hiding pieces apart. So <laughs> before I move on, there was a bunch of, and I'm going to use these. Oh, I uh, my strand was not attached. So I think these match really well, so I'm going to do something with these. But in the meantime, I got a lot of questions about where I got um, the beads for this bracelet. And I often, when I do a video that's a collaboration, I usually just focus in on what I used. So I apologize for that. I will put the link to where I got these beads. Um, they were from Dee Dee's Beads. But I'll uh, put the link because one of the things, I just went and looked at her site and noticed, because uh, I had bought all of them, you can see I have a bunch here. <laughs> I thought I bought everything she had in stock. But um, I don't think these green ones are available. But um, these ones are. She also has rondelles. So they're basically half of one of these beads. And they're the same colors. They're incredible. So definitely take a look. So let's start by gluing this. Now... You can use just uh, Hypo or E6000, but I'm going to use Crazy Glue right now because it's quicker for the video. And I have one here that the cap is loose. There we go. So just be careful if you do use Crazy Glue. It's probably better to use the, the other types of glue because the crazy glue gets all over the place you can't really see it and then it um, sticks to your fingers and then your it dries so quickly Let's see if I can get a drop out of this these dry up really quick too yeah that's not coming out 
Let me see if I can get the cap off of the other one. My handy dandy tools here. There we go. Sure that's on. Especially because these um, beads are faceted, so they don't exactly fit perfectly. So I'm putting it right to the edge of the cap, and uh, that's when you <laughs> get in trouble. Yeah, I, get, I can feel it sticking on my fingers already. Okay, let's hang on to that. Then we're going to put one of these on like that. So I think I'll put a drop of glue and get that on there too. So I was going to do the full bracelet with these beads, but I'll tell you what, they are so heavy that uh, I was a little concerned. So. There we go, that's how simple that is. So let me put that one there for now, let it dry. So in the meantime, I did do some up, ready to go. And then I went ahead and I added some links to the bracelet. So let me enlarge this to show you what I did. So I have, let's get the sizes. So these, um, Jump rings are a little thicker than some of the really inexpensive ones. And I like them. These are gold plated as well. So they're a little more. These are a seven. And then I use a five. And again, the, the thickness of the wire is a little thicker. You can get these anywhere. Um, I'm pretty sure Michaels even sells them. Now these I got on AliExpress, so I am going to let's see, get that in focus. I am going to link. So there's two of the sevens linking one of these fancy spacer beads, and you can use any spacer bead. You can actually even use a glass bead. As long as it's got a big hole that your jump rings can fit through and then a five and then linking again to a seven and then another one of these spacers so initially I was going to just do all of these but then I thought we might do something like this so this is basically beaded chain but you're adding two beads a spacer and then your wire. So let's take a look at how we do the wire. So I was thinking of something like this to add it together. Now, I feel like this part here should maybe go closer to the clasp, but if I only put one of these, this might have to be in the middle. So we might move this acorn, say in between some of these links, so it's a work in progress. So to start out with, you definitely you need your spacer. Again, you can use any type of spacer. Um, I'm kind of sticking with the gold to match everything together. And then I have some gold wire. So I'm using um, 18 gauge gold wire. And I just pull a bit off like this. And there's a bunch of, now you can do it with your hand, it's pretty soft. Um, or you can do like a nylon uh, pliers if you want to harden it. Now I am careful with the nylon pliers because this is, it will scuff up a bit. So you want to be careful. Um, this is really inexpensive. Well, it says permanently colored gold okay so anyway we just 
I normally cut off a big piece and then I just do them. I just add the beads, turn it, cut it, turn it, that kind of thing on the long strand. But for the sake of this video, what I'm going to show you is, first of all, I've cut some up already. And how you can judge the length that you need is to create one of these. And how you would do that is you put your, as I said, you cut this, then you create a loop, then you pop everything on. Why don't we do it and I'll show you how I, so you get an idea. So I'm going to cut this piece off. So now I have a piece of wire. There's tons of videos out there that are better at instructing than I am. So I am not a wire um, beading person. or I love doing beaded wire. Now I'm just going to make this flat. Okay, so you need your round nose pliers. You take your brown nose pliers now. You might want to mark it if you're doing a bunch of these. I kind of eyeball it, but you can take a Sharpie marker and mark where you want to keep your width of your loop. So you see this one is a little smaller than the other, just barely. So if you want to keep consistency, then you're going to mark a spot. And then when you get to that spot, you're going to take your wire and you're going to put it flush at that spot. And so you can feel it's flush. Now I'm going to go in a bit. Okay. You're going to turn while you press with your thumb. Keep turning. Then you're going to release your pliers a bit, but turn it back to about 90 degrees. And then turn again until you're, the end of your wire meets the long piece. So like that. Then you're going to take your pliers and turn them down to this area here and just tilt it a bit. And what that does, let me turn this for you, is it brings your loop 90 degrees to your um, to your long wire so that your loop is in the middle like that. And I've adjusted it. Okay, so there's your first part. Now you're going to take one of these beads, then a spacer, and another one of these beads. Let me move this so you can see. Like that. Pop it to the bottom. Like that. So now I'm going to cut it to there. And there's no reason, just that I know that there's going to be plenty to make that loop. It's probably more than enough. I might come down a bit. As you do these more, you get used to where the distance is of a loop. So let's hang on to that. Get your round nose pliers. So I'm holding the bottom one flat like this. And the reason being is I want the loop to be flat as well in the same direction as that. But you don't have to worry if it comes out where it's off. You can always adjust it. So not a big deal. And that was about the spot that I had. And then you're going to turn the same way you did until it meets. So you can see it's a tick long there's a little space so I could have cut it even more what you can do is unfurl this a little bit and just clip that little piece off so that's another way to measure so to about there make sure you cover that because it's gonna fly and that one the the thicker the gauge wire the uh, more it's gonna go flying into your eyes. So now you're going to take that again and you're going to create your loop and do the same thing. Tilt it a little bit and you can do it this way too. And also like that. So 
if you want to do a bunch of these and you know, okay, that's the, the size I want, you can unfurl these straight, measure it on a ruler, and then cut. And that's what I did with these. So I took it all off, laid this flat, measured it, and then cut a bunch the same length. So that's that. We've got two of those. Let's do two more, I think. So now we have our cut pieces. About there. And that. Straighten that out. And a spacer and a bead. And I'm just going to bring this a little closer here. Like that. And you can now, sometimes when I'm doing a lot of this, I like to do the opposite turn on the other side. So that's just, you know, choice how you want to do that. So this one's turning that way. I would do this one turning the other way. So turn it like that. So I'm still turning away from me. But I've turned the piece and like that. There we go. So I do find that um, I did I, I do the second side a little smaller. It's not going to matter when you um, put it on a bracelet. You're not going to really see that. So let's do one more and then we'll see what we're going to put together here. There. And the beans. There. This one looks longer. And I'll just pull it out there. So yeah, that one was bigger, you can see. But when you start doing them more at a time, then it, uh, you start to get a little more accurate. Okay, so let's, so we're gonna make this one our Let's take this one off the little chain that I've made. And open that up. Okay. So, actually, since I'm going to do just one is the focal. I might want to take one that has a really unique coloration. Okay. Oh yeah, that one's nice. <laughs> okay, so I think we need something. Let's lay this out to get an idea to begin with. So something like that. We got two. Out there. So we have a, a third one there. We might do one more if we need it. Actually, we should measure this now. So I'm going to grab my ruler. So let's put the clasp. And I do have a bead uh, tray that has all the measurements on it. So, but I am. Um, it's massive, so I don't put it on there too often. I'm leaving a bit of space because I'm I know that I'm gonna have space on this. This is looking like it's gonna be it. So there's the seven mark. Um, let me see if I can show you. 
there. So, I feel like, okay, so we either, we could do something like this in between. Yeah, you know what? Let's do these small jump rings in between with the spacer. So something like this. Focus these in now. I don't know. I think it would look nicer this way. But then I'm thinking maybe we should put a bead in between. You know what? Let's put a gold bead in between them. Let me grab my tray of gold beads. Somewhere in here. I must have them on my desk somewhere. Where are my Oh, she's good. I had set them aside just for this purpose. Ooh, I think I found something. These little, little ones. Let me see. No, those are too light. Kind of needs to be bright. That one's. I'm wondering if we put a bead onto one of these sevens and then attach them. But I think I would do these bright ones. These here. Let's try that. Okay. So where are we here? Open that up. Like that. And then I would, I guess, put it on each end of the actually put a second one. Let me see. Because <laughs> one's not enough. Let's see how that looks. It, it makes it a little harder. Oops. To uh, grab everything. Let me grab that there. Put that back on. it. Ooh, look it. That's very pretty. But the <laughs> thing is not on properly here. Let's move that in a little better. There. That's lovely. Sweet. Okay, so now the attachment to here, 
let me just um, let's do the second one because I'll tell you why I'm getting ready to add this one I'm like let's add this let's add a, all of a sudden I'll have an eight inch bracelet as per usual <laughs> I get so excited I want to keep adding stuff I'm like ugh, it's just a different bracelet I'll have to do a marathon bracelet video because I've um, early on in my YouTube life I thought I was going to do a marathon bracelet making so I was like I was prepared I had everything little bins with things that I you know thought I was going to make I think I made like three bracelets and went oh my gosh this isn't going to work <laughs> This is way too much. It would take like, I thought I'd do at least 10, maybe 20. Like three bracelet bracelets was going into the two hour range. I'm like, yep, that's why there's individual videos. So there's the second. Oh, I forgot to put the bead on. Oh, I'm all busy talking. These are supposed to be metal. I think they're uh, plastic. I'll tell you why too is they're very staticky and they're light when I pull them out. Sometimes you gotta watch when you're buying stuff. The descriptions are a little um, kind of tricky. Okay so let's put these on here. So we've got the clasp. The first set. Let's move this up so you can see my ruler. The class, the first set here. This one, and then that one. So I do have some space to add something around this. Because even if I did it at seven, I still have. Uh, I'm not going to go totally nuts but I do think I think 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 we need something like this I wonder let me try do one of these one of those and one of those and create a link with that. So let's try that. I think what I'm going to do is do a bigger loop. There. And then turn. Turn this like that. Those, one of those, like that. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. That's nice. So I definitely don't need a huge piece. I'm gonna cut a little piece off. Where did I put my clippers? Here, just like that. So we can either open this one or open the this one that we just made to hook it on. This is side is bigger, so I think I'm gonna hook it on to this one here. There. 
here. I'm wondering if I should have done a little one of these guys. Yeah, I better leave it because it's going to be too um, too big. So let's open this one. And hook that on. Make sure it's nice and closed. It's looking awesome. One more of these. So let's clip this. And create our big loop. One of these, two of these, that, and I may have cut this one too much, kind of knew, had that feeling when I, so if you think you cut it too much, just go a little shorter on your, on your length here, you won't notice it as much. Or just start over if you're a little more obsessive. So let me get this one open a bit. Normally I wouldn't pull it open that way, but I am. Um, my loop needed to be adjusted anyway, so there, like that. Now I'm going to open this side, it's almost open anyway. And hook that on. And close it up nice. <laughs> Is this pretty? Okay. So let me measure again. There. Yep, seven. Good stuff. So let's add these guys. Do we, we do need a jump ring on these. There's another tires. Hook it in here and add your toggle. Just beautiful. It's got the flowers and the filigree on each side. Another jump ring. Like that in this lovely class. And there we have it. That turned out pretty. Oh, wow. Look at that. It looks so tiny here. Let me, um, measure that. So the great thing about this, if it is too small, you can, um, you can add. 
So it, I think it is too small. So even though I measured, I think because the beads are bigger. So let's go ahead and add another. It's just, just going to make it on my wrist. I thought it looked kind of small. So we can add, we'll add one. Or you could add, let's add this to this side here because this is going to go through your oops so let me decide which okay I think yeah that should be fine find the opening here here. And then I don't know that this uh, five will fit around that spacer. Okay, let's grab a seven inch jump ring. There we go. Okay, that's better. Oh, that's lovely. That is perfect. Okay, let's see how it fits on my wrist. That. So my wrist is five and three quarters. So it's a it's big for me, <laughs> but um, definitely. Well, let's take a look on the. Let's try the mandrel. So let's attach this here and grab. I keep rearranging my desk now. <laughs> I can't find my mandrel. There it is. Okay. So let's just put this on. And go all the way. So it's. It's just at the six and a half, sorry, the six and a half and seven. So I would probably add this same thing onto the other side. So actually, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Because I'll tell you what, I do so many things like this. If I don't do them, fix it now, it goes in the bin of bracelets I've made on YouTube and then it ends up not getting adjusted. And I'm hoping somebody made a suggestion about doing uh, grab bags and selling them. And I think that's a great idea. And what I would include in the grab bag is some of the bracelets that I've made. Okay. Just that's right. 
see. Okay, so let's uh, let's copy this piece here. So we have two sevens connected by a five. So let's take this five that we just took off. those two on. There. And then we're going to do two spacers on each side and Two more seven on each side connecting. So we'll open. I try to m maneuver it so I'm not opening all my jump ring. <laughs> Never fails. It's like I have to. It's like a piece of lint on my dual. So open that up. Spacer. And the spacer. You gotta open it a little more for the spacer. There. And do the other side the same. And this way, when we add the next seven millimeter jump ring we can add it to the bracelet. So that is what you're going to have. Like that. We're not open enough, of course. Okay. And attach it here. Then our next seven millimeter jump ring through the spacer and through the clasp. <laughs> Let's see how much that added to our bracelet. Again, it still looks amazing. Okay, that's that through like that and <laughs> oh, I just had my mandrel and now again um, if I move it it gets there we go now seven and a half perfect ta-da there we go. And look at that, how it looks on the back. That's really nice. Let's take it to the straight way there. That's amazing. There. So there is the lovely bracelet. So that is awesome. I'm having a ball with these clasps. It's really inspiring me. I kind of like the, the bright gold anyway. So it's really, uh, really helping out. So I'm super stoked about this. So I will um, put in the description... There's a coupon code from um, N Beads. And you know what? I should have brought it up. It is, let me bring it up from the other video. Okay. The coupon code is Emma04, and it's for $5 off minimum order of $40 US. And it's valid for a year. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching my video. And hope you have fun. Take care. Bye.